Hello everybody, uh, today is um, March 3rd, 2019 and I'm doing the presentation for MI 439 and it's Emory University and it's finally spring semester. Let's go ahead and I will introduce you Octary Contrast Media Swap Analysis made by Tatiana Petrisky. Hi. So uh, let's talk about um, Octuray. Octuray 350. This product um, comes in variety of uh, different um, concentration. We have Opturay 350, mostly for adults, and indicated for CT imaging. We have Opturay 320, mostly for adults and also children. Opturay 300, indicated for uh, CT for the adults, and Opturay 240 is the same, exactly the same concentration as Opturay 300. So, <clears throat> for this, uh, SWOT analysis, so we perform on the digital imaging contrast media, Opturay, uh, E over Sol. Also an examination of the strategic marketing plans for significant Opturay manufacturers. One is the French company, I'm um, sorry if I don't pronounce it well, but it's Gerbet LLC and Malin Croth. Um, incorporated provides insight into the likely future of Opturay distribution. Let's talk about uh, product analysis. I got a little uh, table, as you can see the property is on the left and metric is on the right and I got out even the uh, chemical formula for the Opturay. So, according to a summary of product characteristics issued by the Ireland Health Products Regulatory Authority 2017, Opturay is a clear, colorless to faint yellow solution, the necessary contrast for the imaging technology to run the clear diagnostic imaging of heart and soft tissues. Let's talk about the strength. What kind of strength do we have um, in Opturay? So the product in the healthcare sectors that enable a more timely, accurate, and safe diagnosis of medical conditions, such as Opturay, are very beneficial for the generational impact of the aging of the baby boomers. That is the first string that they have. The second string is demand for contrast media will continue to grow so the value of this market should be increasing. The third one, the most important is Opturay has many favorable characteristics for the contrast media such as low toxicity, it means less adverse reaction can be occurred uh, and then for the future, it's very, very well assured that um, uh, the more developing, the less adverse reaction is going to occur. All right, let's talk about um, the strength. Uh, according to the bucket, uh, 2015, the rapid increase in the use of medical imaging during the last few decades has resulted in a substantial increase in the use of radiologic contrast media. Half of the approximately 76 million CTs and 34 million magnetic resonance imaging examination were performed each year. Many advanced clinical imaging applications were de developed and refined with the use of intravenous contrast agents. What are the weaknesses? Um, the weaknesses is lack of an exclusive patent over the formula. 
So anybody can steal or grab the formula and use it and claim as their own. So that is the biggest weakness that they have. Opportunities. Let's talk about the opportunities. Uh, if existing manufacturer, manufacturers can quickly capitalize on underserved market, they may be able to claim market share from their competitors, possibly leading to the greater profit margins. What are the threats? What are the threats can be? If the new medical imaging technologies are developed that eliminate the need for contrast media or employ methods for which lower soul is less effective uh, than the alternative media, the market for Opti-ray may decrease. Adverse effects of Opti-ray vary from the minor physiologic and mild allergic reactions to rare but severe and life-threatening events. When an adverse event arises, knowledge of the types of reactions that manifest and prompt treatments are critical. So the personnel should be aware of those reactions and be trained accordingly. Strategic marketing comparison. So let's compare the Gerbet LLC and Minecraft. <laughs> Okay, so for the Gerbe, um, the U.S. subsidiary headquarters in Princeton, New Jersey, was established in January of 2002 by purchasing the assets of Oxylan or Eoxylan injection from Cook. One of the leaders in the diverse industry. In 2015, the company doubled in size following a major acquisition in the United States and the group has continued to grow into one of the leading players in the medical imaging. From a business essentially focused in France, in the early 60s, Gerbet developed its international distribution network greatly from the 70s and up. Since 2005, Gerbet has undertaken a wide-ranging program of industrial site modernization. 250 million euro has been devoted to this to ensure the long-term security of its jobs and bolster its global growth strategy. A three-year income statement shows a high rate of revenue growth 65% and improving net income and cash flow total in 2017. Carpe is the international group with 83,000 of its sales generated outside the France and with four growth drivers, contrast agent for MR, the first one, contrast agent for X-ray imaging, the second one, the interventional radiology, the third one, and fourth is theranastic and imaging solution and services, including medical devices, devices uh, such as injectors. Gerbay has acquired the facilities necessary for high performance industrial production, three sites for the manufacture of active pharmaceutical ingredients, Four fill and finish facilities for our contrast uh, agents and two sites uh, dedicated to imaging solutions like injectors and disposables. Let's talk about Malindroth. Mal, mal, uh, Malindroth Pharmaceutical is a multi-billion dollar specialty pharmaceutical company. Their mission statement is, I like their mission statement, managing complexity and improving lives of the patient. How great, improving lives of the patient, that is a great one. For 150 years, Malindroth has provided medicines to address unmet patient needs. The company reported 
3.2 billion in revenue and 2.1 billion in net income for 2017, as well as 3,600 employees of the March 31st, 2018. The company lists its core capabilities as follows. First, development and reformulation. Second, regulatory expertise. Third, skilled handling in highly regulated materials. And fourth, other operations. Mullencroft abides by the pharmaceutical researchers and manufacturers of America, Pharma Code, on interactions with healthcare professionals for its drug product products. The Pharma Code is the part of ongoing effort to ensure that biopharmaceutical marketing practices and informational activities company with the highest ethical and professional standards. Ethical relationships with healthcare professionals are critical to helping patients by de developing and marketing new medicine. The company lays three core principles to responsible pricing. We will price our innovative products responsibly while ensuring patient access. We will continue to invest in innovate that it's value to patients, physicians, and the U.S. healthcare system. We will support patient education and disease awareness program. Malincrod also publishes priorities for quality, sustainability, and environmental health and safety standards at the company. What kind of recommendations we can make for those great companies? Curebay appears to have chosen to emphasize process efficiency and cost control in its marketing strategy. So it should continue to invest in manufacturing at scale balance against the need for proximity to customers to ensure rapid delivery, delivery response, uh, um, response time. Such a strategy may require regional manufacturing hub cities to serve continental or national markets. Malintrot um, has adopted a strategy that emphasizes new product development, so it should continue to invest in research and development to, to produce newer contrast media with superior attributes and new imaging modalities they may not even require contrast media. Partnership will, with leading research institutions may be critical to Mullenbrot's success in the long run, allowing the company to multiply its human capital to achieve breakthrough product. And those are my two references pages, and thank you for listening again. Uh, such a great class, uh, I'm glad to be here. I hope everyone is doing well. It's a spring semester and it's almost over, guys. Hang in there, bye-bye.